So, first unboxing for a while. Hope everything's good. Uh, this is a used square. Um, uh, this is a square cyclone. Now, I've never ever played one of these, from what I remember. And uh, I'm quite interested to see what they're like. So, unfortunately, they don't make these anymore. But, oh. So, come with a Fender Deluxe gig bag, which is pretty cool, with a massive rip in it, which I didn't mention. Uh -huh. And the first thing I will do with these is sort of uh, see if I left any goodies in. But, you know, sometimes you get new strings and guitar leads, capos, tuners, all sorts left in there. So here we go. There it is. Now I'm not sure the exact colour. It's like a raw blue. It's got a slight purple tinge to it. So, first impressions, this is a 2003 crafted in Indonesia. They said it was in macro condition, but straight off there's a little bit of a ding. Just in the middle there, don't know where you can see that, but we can live with that. So, um, uh, difference between these and the Mustangs. Um, I'll tell you what, it's actually got a really good weight to it. I guess there's an older body. Um, yeah, differences are obviously it's got a humbucker, um, it's got the Strat tremolo system as opposed to the vibrato uh, control switching is the same, neck pickup. Um, got a semi style headstock. Um, uh, another main thing is that. Mustang's a 24 inch scale, this is 24.75, so I suppose it's like a, uh, a Gibson sort of scale. Um, so anyway, onto the guitar, you know, it's got, uh, it's like a two ply pick guard, obviously a humbuck on the bridge, um, single corner neck, so you've got master volume, master tone control, three way switch, so you've got neck position, middle, which is both and just a bridge on its own. Um, this don't come with a, um, a tremolo arm, but I've got one lying about. Um, it's got quite a thick body. Again, it's got a nice weight to it, so I'm guessing it's older. This seems to be a little bit thicker than the um, vintage modified Mustangs. Again, 24.75 inch scale. Um, I'm guessing it's a nine and a half inch radius by the looks of it. Uh, frets are pretty much pristine to be honest. Fingerboard could have a bit of a clean up. It's a rosewood fingerboard, but yeah, there's no sort of wear on it. Um, it's got your square cyclone headstock with a little cyclone decal there. Again, these are. Crafted in Indonesia at the Cork factory, which I really like. Um, they very rare they make a bad guitar. So, it's got your modern style tuners, maple neck, skunk stripe down the back, a little squire plate on there. Again, it's got the strap uh, tremolo, so it left the, the claw in there with the springs and stuff. But this has been set, uh, I think it's been basically set flat to the body so it's pretty much hard tailed. Um, yeah, that's about it for spec wise. Um, I guess the next thing, plug it in, see what it sounds like. Okay, so we've got it all plugged in now, uh, all tuned up. I had to adjust the uh, action a little bit because it was a bit out. Um, if I was to be picky, I'd probably raise this bridge up a bit as well, but just for now, it's going to play as it is. So this is the clean channel and uh, just playing with the neck pickup. <laughs>
shinto both pickups together. <laughs> on its own. Drive now, so this is just the neck pick up on its own. Free craft in Indonesia. Um, you can pick these up anywhere between sort of 150 to over 200 pounds in the UK. Um, really nice guitar. Again, I'm not sure what the colour is of the apologies. I should have done the research. It's like a, it's a bit like a, um, a sort of royal blue. It's not quite imperial. It's a bit more purple than that. But um, yeah, it's got a really nice weight to it. To be honest, I think these are up there with the Fender Jagstangs and the Fender. Um, reissue Mustangs personally and um, it plays that well it feels well built um, these go again cheap so I highly recommend it and if you like the 
sort of strat tremolo over the vibrato because these you can easily hardtail so again the bridges are a bit more simplified on these as opposed to the standard bridges on their Mustang so that's another plus um, actually I think the pickups do sound pretty good again that humbucker was pretty low to the body so if I was to set this up properly I'd um, definitely raise that up just to get a bit more beans but um, yeah the neck played really nice I'll yeah and I was really impressed with the uh, the neck pickup but yeah let me know what you think in the comments below um, really great guitar a lot of bang for the buck it's an offset it's loud it's got a humbucker you know if you like your grunge and indie rock and that sort of thing this is right up your street so um, yeah let me know in the comments below what you think about it um, follow me on Instagram the meat manifesto uh, check me out on Spreadshirt meat manifesto on there as well and also if you'd like to support the channel um, on Patreon I've had a few people ask me uh, check me out on Patreon it's the meat manifesto so that's about it for now thanks for watching and uh, see you all soon